Hi, John here. Um, today is Wednesday, 5th of July 2017. I'm just ringing Bundy up and hopefully he'll answer the phone. Well, I'd like. Yeah, Bundy, uh, John Wano here. Just check your email. Not very good things about Kingy today. I've made four videos at Wartia Radio. And uh, it's him that gave the key to Kingy Fari, which he's confused himself. And that means he's blocked the, the Tomata from getting onto the marae, they can't get in, and it's him that's been causing all the problems right along. So check the email, everything's there, okay? That's all for now. Bye. <clears throat> that's Bundy, I just left him an email, I'll make this short. Um, I'm not very happy with um, the meeting I had with Kingy today uh, because it's sending the wrong signals. He um, has his own interests, self-interest in the land there um, ahead of anybody um, that's saying it's his land. But uh, there's a problem there because he um, uh, hasn't produced any... Um, um, evidence of his whakapapa or written titles against what I've got online. There's too much for anybody to challenge and I've got the titles for there. I know who's who as far as the British are concerned and the New South Wales government and John Key's government or Bill English government in Wellington. Uh, it's all around commerce. It's commercial contracts that are blocking everyone's way and he can't legally reach back and just pluck anything out of midair on a title. That doesn't um, stack up um, and, and, and saying he's going to occupy the land on his own. He said he doesn't need uh, the rest of Napoli. That's not a very good thing to say. That's what Jim said to me, Jim Wickertry said to me, at uh, the uh, Grand Jury uh, Magistrate Court we had on Titi Marae. He said he doesn't need Napoli and there he is in Kaikoti being evicted by the police. That's on record now, so that didn't work. So if, you, if Kingi does the same thing and goes out on his own, I'm afraid to say he's going to be picked off by the Crown and they won't be there to save him. Well, I'm just making this public that um, it's not wise to run off away from the rest of the hapu. It's the hapu that's controlling that marae, as far as I'm concerned, uh, at Titi Marae, the land itself. is like any other piece of land. He's not considering all the rest of the land. He's only worrying about the little piece of land at Titi Marae. That doesn't, it doesn't work like that, Kingy. It's one bit of land like that, or the whole lot. You can't have just a little bit of land without the rest of the people on it. It's all linked to that land and there's no way I can support anybody who's running off away from the hapu and the paramount chiefs. As far as I'm concerned, all the documents I have are legal titles that are today's world, not yesterday's world. You can't go anywhere beyond 1840 on that side because you gave the key to Hini Whare and she's the crown. Don't tell me she's not, because I know who the ground is on that side. And that's the side that you're assisting with Bob Ashby and uh, um, um, Rudy Taylor with the crown. I can see who's who, because it was Mohi Manika that said to me, that's not your real name, Tola. That comes from his Napui side of his wife's land in Dargaville and Poto. Poto. Uh, north Head of Kaipara, 
he knows everything back to front and I know everything back to front of who's who on the land. The Tauruas come from there and they are very much Ngāpuri and you've got a problem with that surname, you're supposed to talk for your own surname. Don't go and borrow anybody's name, Kingi, because you're going to get in trouble. You're going to get in real trouble with the rest of the hapus. That's what I said, with the Moai crown, that's what they've got as title holder in England right through the whole world with the Freemasons and the Manukau Moriori title. Tough, that's how it works. They'll come and clean this whole place out and you're just one of all the others. Kingi, I'm very disappointed today that uh, you, you're saying things that I'm confusing everybody. No, they've got a clear mind. Those people up there that I went to the meeting with this bag, Kingi, with this bag, this is a magistrate court bang. This. Okay? you got to have this before you go start talking about land and your surname, your own surname. So you have to stand there and say who you really are. You're not a Tola. You're an Edwards. And that's the deception that you are spinning out with every other mongrel. That's Peter Parodi is Peter Brown. You see? That's the mischievous Maori that's fucked this whole country up to me. And I can see that you're in part of it. A problem of Maori is not a tribe. It's a nothing. It's a bit of thin air. That's all anybody that's attached to that with names like that and pulling names from here and there. And you pulled another name, Kaiteke, as a Tupuna I've never heard of. I can only look at the names on the title of the British picked. Everybody wouldn't be on this land, Kingy, without that flag. You've got no flag. You've got no king behind you that's got all the commerce, the banknotes, the everything, the land titles, and all the Freemasons instruments on the land you can't touch, can you? You cannot do anything about it. Those are the guns that will shoot you off the land. I'm telling you, I'm telling you that those Paramount Chiefs have the titles and the backing from what's in this bag. Is the title to this whole country, can you? Not just a little piece of land up the road. They can come in on that land any time with this bag and there's nothing anybody going to do about it. You can't touch them. You can't touch them, Kingy. They have a legal right because they've got the proof and the citations and truth deeds of truth. And you're not being honest. You're not being honest, Kingy. I thought you were better than that. But you're the one that's spinning it out with Rudy Taylor and all the rest of those. Well, it's going to get the bill. You're going to get the bill. Kid me not, Kingy, I know what land is, who's on it, because I'm holding the Manukau title as his executor and administrator of this whole country, Kingy, the whole bloody lot, not just Titi Marae, because the main business is in Auckland right here, not up there, it's over here in Auckland, where the banks are, that's only the flag up there, and we're sitting up here in Auckland. What can you do about it? Nothing legally, Kingy. You can't do anything about it. I'm making this public on this video, right in front of the whole world watching. They are all watching what you do and how you behave and what you say to me. You walked out on me today, Kingy, while I was talking, which meant you don't care about me. I'm not saying I don't care about you. I'm just exposing who a Maori is and what Maori land court and all the Maori tribunal and all the rest of the bullshit, Kingy. It's all bullshit. And you're part of the problem of Maori. There's no such title anywhere that's been dreamt up by your lot. And you gave that key to Henifari. You get a trillion pounds on your head, Henifari, all of you on the other side. You wait to see what happens with these paramount trees and Hongi Hika and Tera Waikato Whareherehere here in Manukau in Edinburgh Magistrate Court and Te Ki Marae Magistrate Court and the Waitangi Magistrate Court, those are my fucking carvings in there, you bastards, that's my carvings in there, that's my title, and the Moai statue, standing in Auckland, and Dunedin, with the hat on his head, the crown. Okay, you got that in your thick heads? I'm telling you, those ones up there walking up in Kaikoui, and, and the rest of Ngāpui, we're straining out who's the Kūpapa Māori, and you're going to get the bill and boot you.
boot you. I'm saying this because I'm pissed off with you fellas, held this country and me out all this time with your trustees. Okay? You and those bloody trustees. You're going to get fired. You're going to get fired by the British military and Navy straight out because they're watching you fellas mischiefing with these thugs in Australia, New South Wales and New Zealand. And you fellas, the Maoris, the Maoris. The people are waking up, there's no such thing as marriage. Even Winston Peters says, to hell with marriage party. To hell with anything Maori. You know why? Because it's fake. Just as much as the US federal state dollar of Queen Victoria and the fake notes of Rothschild banks here, the Pope, Francis, and you lot of thugs. Pirates in the Waitangi Marae where Hinefare has just gone. All of you lot have gone and ran in there and you're going to get slammed in there because we've already opened that up on the 16th of April 2016 as a Waitangi Marae Native Grand Jury Trial Magistrate Court. The same as Titi Marae in the paddock. We can go on there anytime, Kingy, because you're not going to stop us. You're not going to stop these Paramount Chiefs and the rest of Ngāpui, Hapu, because of what you said. You said, I don't care stuff about any of them. They'll make the decision, not me. I'm only there to referee between Britain, that got this country saved, and with that flag, and you're not even worrying about that flag, can you? You don't care fuck about that flag. The 1834, or the 1835, or Mohi Manuka, or me. I think you're a disaster. I think you're a disaster. I've been trying to be nice to you, but I think you lost it today. When you said to me, I'm confusing everybody. Kingy, I'm straight, straight talk. I don't fuck around with somebody else's surnames or Tupanos in your fake titles. That's what more he said. That's not your name. You borrowed the damn thing. And here you're saying you're an article when you told me you're not and you wanted the people to nominate you as an Ariki. Well, these Paramount Chiefs are above that. Right? Because they've got the guns and the money to bowl the whole lot of you out. Because that's what the Queen is doing. They're bowling and killing everybody with your thugs. And I can say that, Kingy. I can say you and your thugs and... anybody and her thug mouth, big fat thug mouth, and her family. Of Americans, you, you fellas are the fucking terrorists in this country, supporting Bill English and John Key's Panama Papers, and you're encouraging that much of pride over in England, filling in for the Queen, to snap this place off for you. Now you're going, you're gone, Kingy. I'm making this public in front of the whole world and Radio Wati. You're gone. As far as I'm concerned, I'm going to slam this bag of tricks. Right across your face. There. You've been ignoring me all along. I'm not going to take it anymore because the rest of those people up in Napoli know where the truth lies. No more bullshit. That's what's held them up all this bloody time. 183 years. It's you fuckers. You and your fucking queen. Bullshit. Maori. Landcourt. And your... Don Grant went back to Australia, to Melbourne, came here to change and forge that Cook Street Manukau title. He forged it. That's why I, went, I was going in there to seize it. Now I'm going to snap the whole bloody lot of them. And you in it. You're going down with them, can you? Because you've gone with Hinifari and gave her the key to stop the real landowners on that land block, the T T T. TB3 block and the Waitangi 23 block. I've got the fucking titles here, Kingy. I can swear till the cows come home because I'm sitting on those fucking titles. That was Mohi and them's hard work and Harry Uchitonga to put those titles together for Britain and this flag to save this fucking country. And there you are. You got the cheek to say, I'm confusing everybody. You're the one that's confusing everybody because of your bullshit name and your bullshit Maori. Koopa uh, across the other side, they're all gone, Billy Go Graf across the bridge. You're gone with them and you're just sitting there as if you're over there or you're, you're with the people but you're not. 
you're on your own. So I'm just saying that I'm disappointed, I'm pissed off with you. And so I'm going to leave it there and wait for Bundy to ring me. They're going to take action. Swift action. Okay, that's all for now. I'll see you later. Bye. Not to you, to the rest of the people watching around the world. They're disappointed with you. Pissed off with you.